hi everybody welcome back to the channel it's samantha in this video i'm going to show you how to make a fantastic deep hair conditioner this conditioner is going to help your hair grow stronger longer thicker fuller and just beautiful with it's going to be moisturized it's going to be shiny you are absolutely going to love this so um, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that whenever i have a new video on the channel you'll be notified also please give the video a thumbs up as you're watching because that will help to support my channel to make this deep hair conditioner our first ingredient is going to be rice so i've already washed this rice and i'm just using this white rice but you can use any type of rice you can use brown rice black rice it doesn't matter um you need to wash it obviously to make sure that you remove impurities so um, I've got two tablespoons of rice in here. Rice, it is mainly starchy, but um, once you soak it in water, it releases amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And that's why rice and rice water, um, they are a great hair strengthener. But rice also has minerals and vitamins, which can um, therefore nourish the hair follicles and help to promote healthy hair growth. The next ingredient um, we're going to be using, we're going to be using some oats. So I made a video in which I showed you how to make an oatmeal hair mask and I explained all the benefits of oats in that video. I'll put a link on the screen and also in the description box so you can watch that and learn more about oats. But essentially oats, they've got minerals and vitamins, particularly B vitamins, and these can help to nourish the hair follicles, they can help to stimulate growth, they can help to soften the hair, and it's also got um, polysaccharides, so can which can help to retain moisture in your hair. Oats also have healing properties, therefore they can help to heal the scalp and keep your scalp healthy. The next ingredient, we're going to be using olive oil. So my hair loves olive oil. It's a great nourishing, penetrating oil. It helps to condition the hair, soften the hair, and also just to give it a nice shine. So if your hair doesn't like olive oil, just use any penetrating oil. So things like argan oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, even coconut oil. Those are great options. Um, the next ingredient, we're going to be using honey. So remember, say that this is going to add moisture to your hair. And um, honey is a great humectant. And what that means is that it can help to um, keep the moisture in your hair. Honey also has you know, some healing properties. So again, if your scalp is a little bit irritated, if you've got little cuts on it, then this deep hair conditioner is gonna be great for that. And then last but not least, we're gonna be using some water. So obviously water is the way that we're going to add moisture to your hair. And then all these other ingredients are gonna work with that to give us a beautiful deep hair conditioner. We're also going to need um, something to blend with, and I'm just using my handheld blender this time, um, and also something to strain with, and I just like to use the end of a pair of tines, but you can use anything else like a nut bag or even a very fine mesh or a fine strainer. So the first step is to cook the rice. So remember I've got two tablespoons of rice in here, which was already washed, so I just put that in the pot and then I add two cups of water. I then cover the pot and cook the rice for about 15 minutes. So you want to cook it until all the water has been absorbed and the rice is very, very soft. When the rice is cooked, you now add the oats to the same pot. So remember there are two tablespoons of oats. I then add two more cups of water and cook the rice and the oats together until the oats are thoroughly cooked. So how long it takes for the oats to cook depends on the type of oats that you're using. So I used whole oats and it took about 10 minutes for the oats to cook. So you're cooking the 
oats and the rice together which will make the rice even softer so you cook it until um, it's a nice thick consistency so the longer you cook it obviously the thicker it will get so this is where you kind of determining how thick you want to condition it to be so I want mine to be a bit on the thick side so I cook it until most of the water has been absorbed Once it's cooked, take it off the hob and allow it to cool thoroughly so um, it will thicken as it's cooled. And for me, this is the perfect consistency. And now we're going to mix everything and blend all the ingredients. So I'll put the cooked rice and oats into the blending jug. And then I add one tablespoon of olive oil. And then I add one tablespoon of honey. The next step is to blend everything really well. So you want to make sure that it is blended until it is super, super smooth. So how long that takes depends on how powerful your blender is. I blended mine for about a minute and a half because I wanted to make sure that it was completely blitzed and super smooth. So keep blending until you get a consistency like this one, which is really nice, smooth and creamy. Final step is now to strain everything and I'm just using the end of a pair of tights, which is very, very fine because you don't want any bits to end up in your deep conditioner. So I just wanted to show you why it's important to strain the conditioner because the oats and the rice will have this fibrous stuff in it. You really want to take that out. And now we are done. So this is the deep conditioner. It is beautiful. It is smooth and it is going to make our hair absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to show you how I use it. So now it's time to apply the deep conditioner to my hair. I just shampooed my hair and I rinsed it out with warm water. Rinsing it out with warm water will help to open up the cuticles so that the hair can absorb all those good things which are in the deep conditioner. So it's a nice thick consistency and I'm just going to apply it throughout the hair and just look at how my hair basically soaks up this beautiful deep conditioner. And that's despite this being really thick. And and um, because we've made quite a bit, then you need to be quite generous when you're applying this and to make sure that each and every strand is coated with the deep conditioner. I know a lot of people don't like putting conditioner on their scalp, but the one that we've made has got so many benefits for the scalp. So I recommend that you apply it to the scalp as well. When you rinse it out, it'll be quite easy to rinse out. So it's not going to build up on your scalp, which is um, one of the common problems when you put conditioner on your scalp. So I just applied it throughout the hair, making sure that all of my hair was coated in this beautiful deep conditioner. So the thing about a conditioner is you really want to work it into the hair. And I guess that goes for 
almost any product really because if you just put it onto the hair and you don't work it into the hair then the hair is not really going to get the benefits of the product so make sure that once you've applied it and you've coated the hair actually massage it into the hair strands and also massage your scalp for a little bit because that helps to stimulate blood circulation to the scalp and this will also boost hair growth So once I finished applying the deep conditioner to my hair, including my edges, I just take a plastic bag and um, cover my hair with the plastic bag. So I quite like these bags because they have a really important message because I am thanking you guys for watching the video and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and also give the video a thumbs up. So anyway, I will um, now put on a shower cap over the plastic bag and then once I've done that I'll put a woolly hat on top of everything. By doing this I will generate some heat inside of the plastic bag and this will help to open up the cuticles in the hair shaft and help the hair to absorb all the good stuff which are in the deep conditioner and um, this will also make the deep conditioning process a lot more effective and will help to soften up the hair. So now I'll just keep it on for 30 minutes. You can keep it on longer if you want. And now it's time to show you the results. So I've kept it on for 30 minutes and there's definitely some heat going in there because it feels nice and warm. And here it is. So as you can see, my hair looks great. My coils are well defined and it feels really beautiful and soft and really moisturized. And it also actually feels really strong. So this is the thing about these type of strengthening deep conditioners that you can actually feel an immediate result so that your hair is stronger, it's not breaking, it's not shedding, um, and it just feels amazing. So all I'm going to do now is just massage it for a little bit and also massage the scalp. And if you like to detangle your hair, this is where I would recommend that you can detangle your hair at this stage. And that's because the deep conditioner will have moisturized your hair and um, will have softened the hair so your hair is less likely to break. If you deep um, if you detangle at the stage and I always recommend that you use something like a white toothed comb um, to minimize breakage okay so now that's done all that's left to do is just to rinse it out and I'm going to rinse it out initially with warm water to make sure that it's all out and then I will use some um, tepid water so slightly on the colder side because this will help to then close the cuticles and keep all the good stuff inside of my hair shaft and this is it so i've just rinsed it out and as you can see it's all out the no little bits stuck in the hair which you would find if you hadn't strained it my scalp is clean and it just looks great and feels great and the hair itself it feels great it feels moisturized and you know I've got tiny tiny coils so you might not see them so clearly but um, the coils are really well defined and if your hair is you know on the, it's got looser curls you'd actually be able to see the curls really beautifully defined at this stage so now I'm just going to um, at my oils so I use the LCO method to moisturize my hair so guys I hope you enjoy the video I hope you find it useful and if you try this deep conditioner please come back and let me know also share the video so that other people can try it for themselves and again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead hit the red subscribe button and also give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye for now